Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abura Kip. Welcome to my Laravel 5.4 basic tutorial. In our last tutorials, we installed Laravel on Mac and Windows PC. In this tutorial, I will show you the directory structure of Laravel application and the MVC architecture that Laravel framework follows and database configuration into our application. If we go to the root directory, we can see this is the root directory block and under this block directory, we have some other subfolders and the first subfolder is the app directory. Now I am going to explain a bit about the functionality of each directory. The app directory contains the core code of the application. This is the app directory. Then the bootstrap directory. This directory contains files that bootstrap the framework and configure auto loading. And then the config directory. The config directory contains all of the application's configuration files. And this directory, which is called database directory, contains the database migration and seats. And then comes public directory, which contains index file, which is the entry point of all requests entering to the application. <coughs> Then the resource directory. This directory contains the views as well as the raw uncompiled assets such as less, such, or JavaScripts. Then comes routes directory. The route directory contains all of the route definitions for the application. Then comes storage directory which contains our compiled blade templates file based sessions file caches and other files generated by the framework then the test directory which contains the automated tests if we want then the vendor directory which contains the composer dependencies. The majority of our application is housed in the app directory. So I will focus a bit detail about the app directory. If we go to the app directory, we are looking here major four folders one is console exceptions http providers and one user.php file and besides these files we can generate some other files that i am going to explain the console directory the console directory contains all of the custom artisan commands for the application. Then comes the events directory. By default, we don't get this directory, but we can get this directory when we give the artisan command event generate or make event. This directory contains event classes. Then comes the exceptions directory the exception directory exceptions directory contains the applications exception exception handle handler and is also a good place to place any exceptions thrown by the application then we are getting HTTP directory which contains the controllers middleware and form requests almost all 
of the logic to handle request entering the application will be placed in this directory then we are looking job directories this is by default we don't get but we can create it by the artisan command make job this directory contains queuable jobs for the application and same goes for listener directory which is uh, not found by default and we, we can get create it by artisan command make lis listener or this command so this is the listener directory which contains the classes that handles our events then the mail directory it contains all of our classes that represents mail sent by our application and by default it is not found but we can create it by artisan common make mail and notification directory contains all of our transactional notifications that are sent by our application such as sample notification about events and that happen within our application this directory does not exist by default but we will be created for but we can create it by the executing of the artisan command make notification then comes policies directory which contains the authorization policy classes for our application this directory does not exist by default but we can create it by make policy artisan command and the last one is the providers directory which contains all of the service providers for our application so this is all about our directory and app directory so next i will go to model view controller pattern architecture laravel follows the model view controller architectural pattern mvc creates a separation between business logic from the input and presentation logic associated with a graphical user interface or gui the model represents the data of the application what is view the view displays the model data and sends user actions such as button clicks to the controller and what is the controller controller is nothing but it provides model data to the view and interprets user actions such as button clicks the controller depends on the view and the model if we think about this block diagram we can see user interface or browser can submit user request to the routing and routing routes to appropriate variable controller like this and this controller interacts with the model it requests something to the model and model interacts with the database and it gets back the request of controller and controller gives the view result to the view and eventually which renders view to the user browsers so this is the very simple mvc architectural pattern which laravel follows so we can we can follow this thing into our application now i can jump to the project folder now i can think about configuration of database we know 
in Laravel we can connect our MySQL or SQLite or post grid database or other database so from where we will configure the database this is the place environment dot env here we can mention the database here in database name for example uh, your database and username is really root and the password will be your password and if we save it and you will have to create the mysql database of this name or of your choice and you can give the root password of your choice and if you save it here and you are good to go so if I review a bit today we try to understand the directory structure of Laravel application and also we try to understand the MBC pattern I think this video tutorial will be informative for you and in the next tutorial I will discuss about Laravel routing if you like this video please subscribe and if you have any question or comments or suggestion please leave it in the suggestion box see you next time